What faith? Good answer, good question. What faith? Just ponder this new idea of what the Almighty can do. When we think about it, where do we start? Where do we end? What list is it that we can come up with that God has done? His list is never ending. It never stops. It continues and continues. Even the scriptures today, they give us, they give us an example of what he has done. In the psalmist he wrote, he said, Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard the voice of my supplications. The Lord is my strength, my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. The Lord is their strength, and he is the saving refuge of his anointment. My saving refuge. His list goes on and on. And we have two great examples here in the scriptures today in our gospel lesson. First one about a woman whose daughter was possessed by a demon. How strong was her faith? She knelt before Jesus and asked him to heal her daughter. Her faith in him was so strong that he did not need to see her daughter. Her faith in him was so strong, she knew from miles away he could heal her. Is that strong faith? What faith is it? It's great faith. But Jesus tested her by talking about, that's what the part is about, the food. And she said she knows that this is God's creation. The children should be fed first, but God's dogs still need to eat. That's why they get the crumbs from the children. And Jesus knew that her faith and her belief in God's creation was strong. He said to go away. Go on, it's taken care of. I healed her. Could you imagine her walking home thinking, yes, I know he can do it. Is it really going to happen? And I walk into that house to see my daughter healed from a distance. Jesus wanted some time to rest. He didn't get that opportunity. His presence is everywhere, being all known. Everybody knows he's there. So he left. He went somewhere else trying to get some peace. But no, they tracked him down again because Jesus is everywhere. They brought him a deaf man, mute man. The man was born that way. Jesus took him off privately and showed his powers to this man. Sticking his finger in the air, spitting on his hand and touched his tongue. Can you imagine the faith that blind or that that mute man and deaf man had? He did not hear who this Jesus was. He could not speak who this man was. All he could do is see it. What faith? He saw the love and the power in our Lord and Jesus Christ, and he knew this man could heal him. He didn't hear the words of God, could he? He couldn't hear what was said about Jesus, but he had that faith, strong faith, the faith that comes from, from hearing the word of God. His faith come from seeing the word of God. That's amazing. Could you imagine the first words you ever heard in your life? Is Jesus saying, you're healed? Don't go tell anybody, just, you're healed. I can't wait for the day that I get to heaven to hear his voice with my own ears. I hear it in my heart. I hear it in my mind. I hear it when I read the scripture. But that one-on-one -on -one is something that is so unthinkable. We can't phantom what we're going to get. That's why we have faith in him. We have the faith to think that God is going to heal me. 
God is going to take care of me. God is going to supply for me. God is going to direct me. All that stuff is there. Not, well, I think God's going to help me today. Well, actually, maybe he won't, but I, I'll have to think he might. No, we have to have strong faith. What faith do we have? We have the faith that has no excuses. It's the faith that there is no other reasons, but only one reason why it happens. That is Jesus Christ. You see, our lives, we run into many problems, many difficulties. Many of them. I, myself, I've run into them where, God, why me? Why is this happening? It's the devil lashing out trying to break our faith, isn't it? Continue to have that faith. Roads are going to be tough. At times, God does things for us that makes it tough to build our own faith. He'll do things to us to make it so that we might have a different situation or a different person might get more faith or get touched by the word of God using us. But in the end, we know if we have that faith, we're taken care of. Trust in the Lord. Have faith in the Lord. Be thankful that he's here for us. He promised to take care of, of us. He implants that Holy Spirit in each side of us, inside of us, to take care of us. He works through our parents, our friends, our families, our bosses, our neighbors, our community, our fellow Christians. He works through all of them to help us to build our faith so that we can proclaim God's word to the world. And the Holy Spirit is, is the one thing and the only true thing that we have here on earth inside of us that is our faith. I'll give you a story of this past week about faith. A member, a gentleman from this congregation who has strong faith faith. His name is Ron. Ron came to me a few weeks back with cancer. The doctors gave him two choices, chemo or go in and remove it. Ron chose to remove it, hoping that he won't have any more cancer. He went through the surgery. I prayed with him. I anointed him with the Lord's healing oil. And Ron's surgery went great. No sign of cancer. Amen, right? Well, the devil didn't like that. Because the devil was working with the cancer. Didn't like the fact that God cured him through the doctors, through the hospitals. So he shut his kidneys down. For no reason, his kidneys did not work. The hospital pumped him full of liquid, something like, I think he said eight gallons, was it? Eight to ten gallons of water into his system to force his kidneys to work. It didn't work. He went under dialysis. Still, his kidneys are not working. No function at all. I showed back up at the hospital. I laid hands on and I prayed with him. I said, the Holy Spirit is here and your faith is strong. Trust in the Lord to heal you as I trust in the Lord. And we prayed for a while. And then I said to Ron, as I was getting ready to leave, I said, Ron, I have so much faith in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that you will be healed. That when I come to see you in three days, your kidney will be working. He says, I have faith. Well, for the next two days, he went through dialysis again. They tried some more stuff. His kidneys were not working. They just did not work. On the morning of the third day, God blessed him. His kidney started to work. I showed up that night. And I walked in, and he almost wanted to fly out of that bed because he said, they work. Doctors can't explain it, can they? Did you, did you hear anything? I didn't hear anything. I said, I don't. I know it. God healed him. 
God took care of him because of his faith. Ron is just so excited. Because of that problem in his life with his kidneys and having a problem there also helped his family situation. He had a family problem. We all have those. Well, with that member of his family who had a problem, who hadn't been speaking to him, showed up to the hospital to see him. They started a new relationship. Isn't that awesome? Even though the devil lashed out and took care of his kidneys, tried to knock him out of the switcher, God said, okay, I'll fix him. But you know what? I'm going to use this disaster to also fix this problem. So Ron was blessed with three things. Ironically, three. In three days, I'll come back and you'll be healed. Three days, I'll come back and your kidney will be working. As I was getting ready to leave, I said, Ron, in three days, it's Saturday. I'll come see you Sunday morning because you'll be home Saturday. Friday night, I get a call, and Ron says, guess what? I'm going home. God healed him. So we must have the faith. I, I'm happy and joyful that they can't find that cancer in Marlene anymore, right? The next step is to build up her immune system. So let's pray that that happens, that she continues to move forward. God is a healing God. Even with this trial and these problems that we have in our lives, we got to remember to have that faith and be strong. My heart's strong. My eyes weep. I'm, I'm crying for joy, for happiness. How he's blessed this congregation and this group of people that we have so much faith in our Lord. So when we see and when we have that faith in our Lord, we will find that Jesus will do miracles and those who are blinded by faith will see and those who have little faith will be great and those who cannot speak will speak of the faith and the love and the miracles that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has done for us. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you very much for your healing hand. Thank you for the joy that you're giving us Help us to continue to study your word, to know your word, to proclaim your word to the world out there. Lord, we know we go through trials and tribulations and we have hard times in our lives, but our faith in you will guide us through it, would heal us and take care of us. Help us to be those disciples that you ask us to be and to share your good news to the world that you're a healing and loving God. Amen.